The task force is asking for tips. We have more details over on our website, valleycentral.com. Well, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is now urging Mexico to do more to stop drugs from flowing into the U.S. He's currently in Mexico with other top American officials for day two of high stakes meetings. The leaders plan to discuss fentanyl, immigration and arms trafficking. The talks come as the Biden administration is under pressure from lawmakers to do more to slow the flow of migrants into the U.S. Mexico has agreed to help deport migrants who cross illegally. Well, we're working to learn the names of those arrested in connection to a game room raid in Ed Couch. It happened at Tejano Treasures on East Santa Rosa Avenue. Details are limited, but the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office confirmed multiple people were arrested for illegal gambling. We'll share any updates on air and on valleycentral.com. Well, dozens of Valley families will have a new place to call home. Hidalgo County leaders broke ground on an affordable housing complex in McAllen. The $5 million complex is replacing the rental housing that was damaged or destroyed by severe flooding in 2018 and 2019. The General Land Office awarded $5 million to build Jackson Road Apartments, which is a 36 unit complex. If you're of low to moderate income and you need a safe place to live, a good place from which to launch, and this is why these projects are so incredibly important, so that our families who suffer economically have a safe, good place to live so that they can grow and enjoy the prosperity that comes from that. All 36 units are guaranteed for low to moderate income families. Well, if you like to cool off from the hot sun with a cold beverage or two or three or more, <laughs> just kidding, then Danielle may just have what you're looking for at a really cool event. Oh, yeah, Adam, I can tell you're excited for it. I am. <laughs> I think everyone is too, okay? This is the University Draft House Beer Fest, and it is really expected to be a fun night for everybody. It's a chance for attendees to make new friends from within our local community and all while indulging in great tasting craft beer. Now, it is a really big social event also because we are going to be able to join on regular book club groups on top of meet individuals from socials and mixers that are hosted in the RGB every single month. We're also going to get the chance to participate in exciting game night fun and it is for adults and of course young adults. So pretty cool to check out for some October fun. The great thing here is that this is an annual occasion. So that means it only gets bigger and better every single year. Now beer actually is the third most consumed drink in the world and interactive activities like beer pong as some of the most popular. See, according to order.beer.com, beer has been around for a long time, okay? And it definitely has evolved since it was first invented around the 4000 BC era. Now, who doesn't love a fun thing to add to your to-do list, right? I mean, there are always great events to check out here in the Valley, and this one is one. Excited to partner up with UD and the Edinburgh Arts Foundation again uh, for the sixth annual. It's going to take place October 14th at uh, the City Hall Edinburgh Food Truck Park. So we're excited to have everyone there and enjoy a nice night. All right, like he said, this is all happening on Saturday, October the 14th from 6.30 p.m. to 10.30 in the evening. So it is all going down at the City of Edinburgh Food Truck Park. It is off of 7th Street in the Upper Valley, and you can find the info that you're going to need to know by visiting meetup.com. And we do hope you have a blast. If you do, make it on out there. Guys, this is pretty cool because they're going to have lots of games on site, of course, having to do with the beverages, pretty fun. And then also, like I said, you can join different socials. So meet people your age and have oh, fun yeah. and have your interests. Yeah, I heard book club, too, so it's kind of yeah. neat. You know how it's mixing like the yeah. booze with books. Yeah, I know. it's, it's oh, I everything. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> I love alliteration. <laughs> that means if you went to college and you were a hardcore studier, maybe you go to the book club. If you were a hardcore partier, maybe you can beer play pong. beer pong. Yeah, yeah. So, sounds like there's a couple options for everybody. It I does. Love it. Yeah. I also noticed that it's probably adults only. Correct. Yeah. So that we're talking 21 plus, obviously. So I know we do a lot of the events that are family friendly that the kids can go to. That's yeah. what Danielle brings us. But mm -hmm. it's nice to have some of the options that are adult only. Yeah. Once again, like you said, socializing with other adults. So yeah. maybe like a parents night out, date yeah. night type vibe. That's like what it. I'm kind of feeling yeah. from this. Co-workers night out. There you okay. go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's called um, team bonding. It is. Right? It's a work thing. <laughs> yeah. Necessary. And there's going to be food trucks because it's at a food I truck park. I love that. Yes. I, I, I don't know if I've been to that food truck park actually yeah. in Edinburgh you said it's pretty cool yeah I haven't been there yet so that's another one I got to knock off my list so maybe two and one learn more about beer and also uh, go to the the food truck park yeah. there yeah. So. I think yeah. we have to win, do win. this together as a team yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it yeah. well thanks for bringing us the invite <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah. it's gonna be a great time perfect all right well the Cameron County District Clerk is hosting a passport fair in La Sada the fair will be held Saturday October 21st from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m.